Hello my honeys and welcome back to my channel. So I am Bumblebee Fern. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had that cough thing that's going around. It's not coronavirus, so don't worry. But I'm very excited because I got my witch's box. You know, your girl loves her witch's box. And holy guacamole is this thing freaking heavy this month. I'm so excited to see what's inside. Um, Elena gave a little sneak peek or little, um, little, what are those called? A little hint, I guess you can call it. A little hint at what is going to be inside this month. So I'm very excited. I'm going to keep it a secret, but I can't wait to see what it is. Also, if you are thinking, wow, she's wearing the same shirt she was in the last unboxing, you're right, because I am. I'm doing these all together and also... Keep your eye out because I will be doing a side-by-side -side of all the witchy subscription boxes that I receive right after this one. So keep your eye on this little corner right here and you will see some good goodies and your giveaway for this month. So can't wait to see what is in store. I have seen, I have like quickly scrolled past a couple of um, spoilers from Hound Dog Hollow. So it's been so hard for me not to see what is in her Midnight Muses box and stuff that I have not looked at yet. So can't wait to see and let's get right into it. All right, my loves, here we go with our beautiful witches box from Elena. So at each month, at the end of the month, I'm included in this box subscription. Also, they do a deep dive gathering and they actually go through with um, just like a video chat with uh, all the witches that are subscribed to the box and Elena and Elliot, who is the, um, their lovely creator, curators <coughs> of the box. And they dive a lot deeper into the meanings and the inspiration and all the good goodness in here. So. Be sure to check them out down in the description below. I'd love for you to go give them some love because it is much deserved. She just, her magic, everything is just so deep and so juicy. She loves <clears throat> really, really delving into the meat of different magic and the different things that she puts in her boxes so it is a wonderful wonderful tool Ooh, yeah what i'm talking about which is so there's a pamphlet spoiler alert if you don't want to see it close your eyes here is a beautiful knight of cups knight of cups card that i got really pretty super high gloss Tarot deck, a sigil, always beautiful. I love like the darker and more muted tones that always come in the witch's box. Like they definitely go with my my vibes for my apothecary. So I do love them so much. Nice salt book of shadows page. I got a few. Let's see, black tourmaline. It's been such a protective month. I love it. Defensive magic is like some of my favorite magic. Along with abundance. What is this? Energy cleansing spell. That is so awesome. I love when they include different spells and rituals in these boxes because like I always say, I love the inspiration from other witches. Especially being like, I wouldn't consider myself a new witch. I mean, I've been practicing for around five years now, but still like there's some, you can never stop learning in this community, this, this lifestyle. There's so much to learn. <gasps> wow, okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so they actually stopped putting things in their jars because they were having problems with them getting broken during shipment and then them having to send replacements. And it's also just a more earth-friendly um, way to send and pack things. But they started sending them in these big packets and she said that they would be 
just as much if not more packed into these boxes and she was not kidding like if you all can feel this this is it's like a pound at least of what is this gray sea salt so i wonder if it's like bentonite clay and sea salt rich in minerals <clears throat> you know i'm so sorry if my voice is like all funky i have been having a heck of a time this week Mark has been kicking me in the butt, but still we are so blessed, so I am not complaining whatsoever. Ginger sea salt. Wow, that's interesting. Ginger and sea salt. So I'm going to definitely open these up and after I pull them out and give them a smell. And I'll show y'all what's inside. It's like almost hard for me to open them up. Oh no, this one looks like it's freaking... Okay, so this is red. I think it says Alea? Alea salt? Maybe I'm like totally like sounding that wrong. I'm looking at that wrong. It just it looks like it says Aaliyah. Aaliyah salt. So it's a iron oxide rich volcanic clay in Hawaii mixed with sea salt. Beautiful. So here, let's actually start giving these, opening them up and seeing what is inside. And I will probably be transferring all of these into jars because she certainly gives you plenty. Look how pretty that sea salt is. Definitely iron oxide rich. Mmm. Mmm. So beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to see what she intends for these three different kinds of salt because I've actually been kind of delving more into the different salt, making my own black salt. I make my own bath salts, which I can do a, a tutorial on if y'all are interested. I'll put a poll up here, so let me know if you're interested in that kind of tutorial. But uh, ginger sea salt, beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, that is definitely gingery. That smells delicious. And not just like, oh, I put some ginger essential oil in there. It's like, no, it is packed with super yummy ginger. That makes me want to eat this like Chinese dessert. I'm trying to remember how to, how to say it in Chinese. But it's like a tofu, a tofu dessert. We have tofu, sweet tofu soup and it is so good. Probably just embarrass myself if I try to pronounce it on here and my family will make fun of me. Even though I doubt that any of them actually even watch my videos. But this is the gray sea salt. So it doesn't really smell like anything, but it looks beautiful. Nice finer green sea salt and very white. It's not like translucent. Which is kind of expect. So that's a very cool. Nice huge packs of salt. <gasps> oh my gosh, she was not kidding. Yeah. Okay, this isn't even what I was talking about. I'm just gonna since I was on my little Rant on my tangent of getting excited. This is what I just saw. Oh my god. I have been wanting one of these so bad. Oh my god. Everybody is answering my wishes this month. Look at it. Isn't this glorious? I love it. And she gave us some tea light candles to put in there too. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now, y'all. This is. Oh, I love it. I just love it. This is so going on my altar. So magical. So in love. Are you freaking kidding me? Elena. Really, you have like freaking outdone yourself. Oh my gosh, this is like a beautiful little salt bowl. Is that what it is? I love it. Oh my gosh, look at it. I love how you can like see through. Oh, if my babies weren't sleeping right now, I'd be like screaming. Look at so I can't even stop. Like, it is, it is so so pretty. I can't wait to see what this stone is too. Like, how, oh my gosh, how amazing. 
This is Stephanie the box out of it. She definitely made the <clears throat> impact from not getting the jars a lot easier to swallow. A nice little chunk of black tourmaline. This is my favorite protection stone. It's like a nice rich little piece too. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Let's give our little pamphlet a read. Alright, well, so here is the overview of this super amazing box. I'm, I'm just so blessed. I feel so blessed right now. I can't even tell you. So here is the pamphlet I'm going to read. With magical souls, welcome to the salt box. This, is, this one is as much a reflection on the, of the need to both make it a practice to cleanse and clear out negativity and ill will as it is about learning to develop intimate relationships with the elements we use in our magic. We start here with what we can be considered, or what can be considered, a basic ingredient in magic, but which isn't actually basic at all. Salt is so powerful and versatile, and in this box you have three different blends of salt. This box is also an invitation for you to pull out the standard white salt you surely have on hand in your home. Here's a chance to seek into each one, learn how different and nuanced they each are based on the minerals and different elements each one contains. This can be for you the begin beginning of really learning the deeper details and energetic, energetic frequencies in each item. Salt is very different depending on where you source it from. This box also has black tourmaline in it, so you can prefer, perform a very easy and also very powerful cleansing spell. In our deep dive gathering, we will also go over how to work with a ritual that will help you develop a sense of how each different blend of salt differs from, from the other, as well as how you might use different blends depending on your intention. The beautiful salt lamp is included for you to have direct experience with adding negative ions to your environment in order to elevate the mood and sense of well-being. Finally, the sigil in this box will be here, will, or will be the invocation ritual I'll share with you in our deep dive gathering at the end of the month. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was so probably hard to listen to. <laughs> My voice is like so dry and scratchy, y'all. I can't even, I barely get a sentence out. I've been drinking like a giant bottle of water on the side that you can't even see. Okay, so inside this box, we have the Witch's Apothecary bag of red. Aaliyah Salt. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce that, so I'm sorry. One which is apothecary bag of gray salt. One which is apothecary bag of ginger salt, which was my favorite. One Himalayan salt candle lamp, which is also my favorite. Three tea lights. One black obsidian. So she said black obsidian. I'm pretty sure she meant black tourmaline. One tarot card from the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So that is the tarot card or the tarot deck that that card is from one sigil one book of shadow page for clean energy cleansing spell one book of shadow page on salt and one for she's a black obsidian again but i'm pretty sure she meant tourmaline so that was a heck of a box thank goddess for all these beautiful beautiful energies from elena i am just i'm so in love with her and she's like Especially being able to see her each, each um, month in the Deep Dive Gathering, that is such an um, amazing offering that she provides with her boxes. So, like I said before, if you are interested in this magical box, please check out the little link in the description for the Witch's Box. And I will see you all beautiful honeybees later. Bye! Alright my loves, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you thought that was amazing as I did as amazing as I did. Um, please like and subscribe to me just so you don't miss out on any of the next giveaways or unboxings or any of the other awesome stuff I have coming because I got a lot of good stuff coming. So please also follow me on Instagram. I will put it right here. And thank you for watching. Bye.